We're seeing some rebranding. We're seeing some content combinations, I guess you might want to call it. What does this all tell us about the state of the streaming service? And are we still seeing the streaming wars? Well, I think streaming is unquestionably the primary conduit for delivering you know, video content you know, versus linear. Uh, I, I think that Max is in an excellent you know, position given the portfolio of content, you know, the originals, the movies, uh, you know, kids, increasingly you know, sports and news over a period of time, although that's you know, fairly nascent. So, yes, there is a streaming war, but I think that they're coming from a very good position given the uh, brand name of, uh, of HBO and the other, the other content that they have. All right, let's talk a little bit more about Warner Brothers Discovery. You actually are very bullish on the stock. You have the second highest price target on the street at 26 bucks. Uh, right now it's trading at about 12 bucks a share. So give us a sense, the combination, the slate of movies and shows it has coming up, the potential to have sports, specifically the NBA. How does that shape your thoughts about this, this company and the streaming service? Well, I think this is a great, you know, risk reward balance. You know, we picked it up last year after it had already, you know, basically in, in, imploded. You know, I think you've got the protection of a double-digit, you know, free cash flow yield. You know, lots of progress on the cost control uh, being orchestrated, and, and really one of the premier bouquets of content in Hollywood, both in terms of the uh, libraries and in terms of the active uh, production pipeline. Uh, you know, clearly, you know, hits. You know, The Last of Us. Uh, you know, House of the Dragon. Etc. So I, I think they're in a good position, and I think that HBO was really just uh, in Max. Uh, the, the other businesses, uh, you know, the, the legacy Turner businesses were were mismanaged, uh, you know, for quite a number of years. So it's really a matter of restoring the luster as opposed to uh, doing something from a from a standing start. So I, I think they're in an excellent position, and and they're clearly going to be one of the prime players, of, no, no pun intended, relative to Amazon <laughs> over, over a period of time. Well, you mentioned Turner. Obviously, there's Turner Sports, which has the NBA. They're a really great studio show inside the NBA that a lot of people have really identified with the league. It's just really a flagship show. So the potential for this service to have the NBA, is that a possible game changer? Because you also mentioned some of the shows, House of Dragon, there's the Flash movie coming up. There's some other hits that are in the pipeline. Well, I, th I think the NBA, along with college basketball, NHL, et cetera, is, is really important uh, you know, to Turner Sports and the overall uh, programming posture over there. Uh, Zaslav, the CEO, has gone back and forth on on the absolute intent to have have the HBO have uh, have the NBA. But I think it's incredibly important. You've seen how good the 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 games this year, the the conference finals have have been. And there's a really close relationship between uh, uh, Turner and and needless to say, and NBA TV. I mean, they're housed in the same studio. Clearly. You know, the personality, it's not even somebody could post, let's say, Charlie Barkley and Ernie and all that. But uh, you know, those, those personalities are unquestionably important to the identity of, of the NBA. So I think it's a very symbiotic, you know, partnership. You know, clearly you've got some big wallets out there. You know, I think what really saves you is kind of the dissolution of, of, of the, some of the RSNs and po the possibility of having just more games available. So it's possible that they have the NBA and, and some other streaming services would, would as well. So I think to some extent, everyone could live, you know, happily and happily ever after okay. under that circumstance.